Well, it's a great honor. Well, I'm humbled and honored and inspired by this incredible honor that, have, that has been bestowed upon me. Thank you. Actually, I thank God for carrying me through this most picturesque and beautiful campus. I could have never imagined arriving at this ideal destination. First, I would like to thank the president of Pepperdine University, Dr. Bender, athletic director Steve Potts, and also the selection committee as making me a Hall of Famer. First, I would like to thank those who were with me at the genesis of my athletic spiritual journey. Sister Catherine, I know she's not here, but I had to say something in regards to her. At St. Ignatius, she established my acad academic and long road map for success. I would like to also thank Stephen Phelps and Bob Drucker for their guidance. They planted the seed that I had talent to play basketball at a collegiate level. The one story that I, well, one of the stories that I had with Stephen Phelps and uh, Coach Drucker, Drucker, they led me in, in the way to, that taught me how to manage my time between practice and classes and, and also extracurricular activities. To the current basket, Pepperdine basketball team, you know how important it is to have a head coach to mold you as a basketball player and a, as a person. I was blessed with an excellent motivator, exemplary leader, and calming influence in Coach Jim Herrick, Tom Big Stick Asbury, <laughs> and Tony Fuller. I know he's not here, but I still had to say hello. They not only showed me how to box out top players such as Hank Gallers, Laurel and Marymount, also Xavier McDaniels from Wichita State, but helped me steer, steer me in the right direction so that I could be a successful person. One of the stories I also like to say at halftime of uh, the Gonzaga game, we were behind and need to say, I went back into the locker room and Coach Asbury in his own delightful way and said, hey, you know we're losing, so can you pick it up? And so he gave me some stern, stern encouragement, need, need to say, and we won the game. Thank you, coach. <laughs> coach Herrick is one of the best coaches in the history of college basketball, as evidenced by the national championship at Pepperdine of the West, or as we most know at UCLA. We will cherish and value and remember forever during the, the playing time my playing time from 1984 to 1988, 1988. I had a privilege to play with Ford. They're no longer with us, but I want to say forward Anthony Fredericks and uh, center Mike, Mike, Mike Mounts. Guards Tom Lewis, John Corfus, Donnie Moore, Dwayne Poley. Last but not least, my boy Marty Wilson, who's doing a great job as current coach here. Coach Eric. Coach Asbury, Tony Fuller, Marty Wilson, and other players that I competed with, can you please stand and so we can give them a round of applause? Because they did all such great things for me. I wouldn't be up here now without them. I really thank you. Coach Eric taught me very own, very early, you can't win games in the West Coast Conference by yourself. Lastly, I want to thank my many support staff, the one who sees, who works, who works tirelessly behind the scenes when I twisted the an ankle, sprained the knee, and strained my back. I could always rely on our trainer, or our trainers, to get me back on the court. I sat in many ice baths, and miles of tapes on my ankle, wore all kind of knee braces on my knees. And I was always in debt, and also my heart will always be with Pepperdine on game days. Also, I would like to thank Martin Fogg, if he's here, but I don't think so, but Martin Fogg always kept timeless memories with his uh, perfect pictures. Also, 
I'd like to thank former, well, actually, Al, I want to thank you for all the games, the play-by-play -play that you gave us. Al Epstein, I appreciate you. Always there. <laughs> I want to also thank my family, my bedrock, who served as my foundation all my life, who got me up to go to school when I attended St. Ignatius, who helped me and sometimes threatened me if I didn't do my homework and get a good grade so I could receive a basketball scholarship at Pepperdine, who has always been there from diapers to adulthood, my mother Betty, and who, all I, who I also love dearly and with all my heart kept me focused on achieving greatness. I also want to thank my sister, Levette, also my wife, Heidi, and my blessing from God, son, Levy Jr. Everything that I do, all the goals that I pursue, everything that I aspire to be is motivated by my desire to be a good dad, to inspire him to be the best, and a moral comfort for our son. And now I work with children that don't actually didn't have the same opportunity that I've had and still have. So I feel so blessed to have these great members of my family. I have also been a people person that I, that I, that is why I sell insurance. And I also like to thank uh, my other motivator, Mr. Joseph Recibo, as a valuable mentor and as I continue to pursue this endeavor. Also, I'd like to thank so many people, Dr. John Watson, Phil and Sula. I'd also like to thank Z, and my spiritual guidance counselor, and also still a mentor, Pastor Danny. I love, uh, and also there's Rick Moose, uh, Dr. James uh, Watson. There's so many other people that I love to thank, but always been behind me and still to this day still encourage me. And I can't forget Mark Dunphy. Incredible man, thank you. As a basketball player needs to fuel his engine complete at the high, and compete at the highest level of basketball competition, when, when I needed some good food, so I needed to load up on some carbs, I always went to the Cacciatores. Very famous name here. They always provided a great atmosphere, excellent Italian cuisine, and a place where me and my teammates could decompress and chill. I would like to leave you, leave the current ways with these four P's to success. The first P is pressure. Remember that pressure is power. It is trying to push forward and, is, and it is inevitable if you are playing basketball or in your personal life. Look at pressure as a positive thing not something that you abhor, and you will be successful in life. Most recently, WNBA guard Meyer Moore won game number four of the finals with a last-minute three-pointer that had a picture of Michael Jordan and making the winning three-pointer next to hers. Both stood tall, ran towards the ball, embraced pressure, and made the shot with the gooseneck follow-through, winning in life. Second P is persistence. If you want to succeed, you must have the dog to fight inside of you. When you get knocked down by a screen that your teammate didn't call out, don't quit. Don't yell at your teammates. Be innovative. Take the most efficient route to the person who you are responsible for and meet the person you are guarding at the rim in your face block. Winning in life. The third P is perseverance. The Pittsburgh Steelers beat the San Diego Chargers 30 to 27 on a last minute touchdown by running back LeVon Bell. He was originally stopped at the two yard line, then stepped over his offensive lineman and pushed his way across the goal. When asked, did you have the confidence in yourself that you would score, he said, I had to find a way. If you go through life and push through the many setbacks and trials and bumps in your life, you will succeed. Remember, it must happen. Hang in there, even if it doesn't go your way, go your way the first time. Have perseverance. 
But the last and most important P that I love is prayer. My godfather, uh, Johnny Jones and Pastor Danny, will remind me, and remind me to this day, prayer, prayer will help everything. Please pray for the current basketball team and their staff, Lamar Odom, Marty and Myra, great foundation, all the individuals who, whose shoulders I rode to the Pepperdine University Hall of Fame, and thank you for coming to the Hall of Fame ceremony. God bless you, and God bless Pepperdine University.